Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Hopcat. Seashells, seashells by the seashore. <laughs> Little Z. Peter Piker. F- I'm gonna Peter Piper it. picked a peck of pickled peppers. Pop it one. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. How many peckles did Peter f- <laughs> Almost. And I don't director know. She, she's, no. Go on. She sells seashells by the seashore. Yeah. Yeah. Little vocal warm up, guys. So if we sound extra smooth and velvety in our vocals, that's why. Apart, don't, ignore the part where we messed it up and yelled <laughs> obscenities in the first two minutes well, we of the podcast. We gotta practice yelling obscenities too. Oh yeah, it's that's still the underdogs podcast. That's true. True that. Wait, true should that. we all talk with like more of a sort of tone in our voice like this? Like. Well, like a bit of Asimur. Uh, as- <laughs> I had Asimur as a kid. I really oh, read it. <laughs> I really read it. I, don't, I didn't know that uh, people said ASMR. Yeah. I might try and talk slower this episode. Hi, everyone. You're feeling more relaxed. Feeling relaxed. Who do you reckon, if we all tried out of us, would have the sexiest voice? If like you wanted someone to like voice your commercial for like chocolate and you wanted to be like I think you the luscious you know like we do our normal voice or we do our you do your sexiest voice yeah let's do auditions alright go on then uh, what, what should the line be uh, uh, how about like indulge in the temptation yeah you know, drinking something like that. chocolate uh, I reckon we you can choose your own alright well I was trying to make it easy for you but you know go on make it half yourself go on Zach oh, am I starting yeah well um <laughs> Chicken, chicken nuggies. No, it's not you. <laughs> it's not chicken that. nuggies now five ninety nine. I think Ooh. I'm just trying to be too low. Yeah, you're just turning into grumble. Um, it's time to indulge in dripping chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you're watching through someone's window. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm, plump strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, John's got my vote. Um, indulge in the temptation. Too low? Too much? No, no that, that was, was good. Amazing. That's the best. That's the best. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Definitely. You kind of set that up for yourself, I think, Peter. No, uh, no. I agree. <laughs> I, I was, was going to say Peter as well. <laughs> I was going to just say start. But Peter's like, let's do a chin up competition, everyone. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Well, we play a fucking Smash video with Jordan every other day, so yeah, you know, give us a I break. I should start the videos and Smash would be like, who's the best out of us, do you reckon, guys? Let's do a little tournament. All right, well, I nah, thought you guys nah, might be good. hiding some secret talents. It was good content. I was wrong, okay? You guys suck. you got to sniff it out, you know? How else will you know? Sniff what out? Sorry? Talent or oh, something. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> yeah. Anyone else got some secret talents? Um, I think I've got lots of talents, but I don't keep them hidden. Yeah, true. Humility, like, not a hidden talent. As a YouTuber, yeah, exactly. as a YouTuber, you wouldn't want a hidden talent. That would be a bit of a bad play. You would, yeah, you would just want talents that talent. are out <laughs> in the open. No, but surely you like save one up and then you like do a video being like, "I'm actually the world's best." I don't know paraglider. Well, That's he might not drop it on the podcast. Then he's probably saving. Oh, yeah. we're saving it for the. That's awesome kind of like Logan Paul being like now in the WWE. Yeah, Have you seen? he's pretty crazy. He's actually good. Yeah, he's wild. Shit. He's like an extremely athletic and flexible man. He's True. like, just does the splits and shit. Oh, wow. So yeah. he must work hard physically. Yeah, definitely. Wow. Yeah, Respect. he's like straight up in the WWE, like doing backflips and shit. Wow. Shout out to Logan Paul. He's Shout doing out. big things. Wouldn't Was he be- the um, forest guy? Yeah, yeah. Damn. <laughs> he's, Damn. Moved, he's moved on. Respect. There's been a lot of Jake Paul and Logan Paul drama recently, but you know, it's not It's not interesting to me. It just keeps popping up on my Twitter and I'm sick of it. Yeah. Um. Wouldn't it be funny if Jackson was just like in his fourth year of like tap dancing? Tap dancing? I, like I, would, I wouldn't put it past him. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise yeah. me that much. Tap dancing doesn't really interest me, but dancing does. Why don't tap you do dancing like, annoys me so Have much. you ever wanted to do a dance class? I don't have any money. So I'll, I'll pay for one dance class for you. All right, sounds good. All right, with sweet, YouTube, done. you can do anything, though. Just with Brooke. Chuck Make it, it tax deductible. Oh, like just watch it. Yeah, just yeah. film the dance class. I think just going to a class is super different to doing it at home. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. That's true. Do you ever get this thing where people in your life that don't know that much about YouTube will just tell you to turn something into a video? Oh, all the time. Because like with like this dance class, someone would just be like, oh, make it a video. Then it pays for it. And it's like, ha, 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 ha. Like that's one going to perform like shit. <laughs> and it's not a very good idea. It's just like people love to try and like give you ideas in. How dare though? I get that a lot <laughs> with um, new games that come out. Like people yeah. are like, oh, you should play this game. And if you don't really want to play it, just make a video out of it. Then I'll just pay for itself. And I'm like, what? <laughs> That's just it, like it's, you're turning playing a game into a massive job, but you know that is the job, right? 
kind of. I know, but I, I think, yeah, I mean, it's just obviously I know what I think yeah. would perform well. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, I'm agreeing with Zach here, but it is sometimes it's with a game that's so different to what I normally do. And I'm like, good thinking. Yeah. Maybe not. I think a lot of people still don't know that a lot of a YouTube video is not the making, like not the filming part. Yeah, like, not, like, not the game. It's not like you just play it and then it's done. Oh, that's like, like it's all that's like ten percent. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think one of my hidden talents is staying asleep. Through that's like, a good talent. Through wow. like everything except for an alarm or someone like shaking me. Oh. Like I don't wake up to like lightning or like loud noises or anything throughout the night. Yeah, oh, that's, that's good. Just, um, ja, it's it's worked well for me. Until a robber comes in. Maybe yeah, not, trouble. not great then. Nah, Ollie well, might wake you up. Maddie will wake up and then wake me up. Ooh. Oh, so she is like on alert phase and you just get to chill the hell out. Oh, that's baller. I think so. That's a life hack. That and then, is yeah, a life before hack. Maddie, I had, <laughs> I was going to say I slept with Ollie, <laughs> which is true, but not in the sense that I sleep <laughs> with Maddie. <laughs> anyway, God. I had, yeah, I had the dog. Anyway, Ollie, there's nothing getting past Ollie. You yeah. guys know, he's a, he's a barker. You sneeze and he starts barking. Yeah. He's onto it. Yeah, mine's similar to that. I can always fall asleep. I thought I was connected. That's a great super That's a power. great talent. Well, if we're talking about hidden talents, I don't know if ability to fall asleep is necessarily a no, it talent. Is. It is. <laughs> no, because a lot of people can't do it. I can't do it on a plane, though. Is it, See, a, that's a, talent. Is it a skill no, that's or a talent? I can fall asleep on a plane. That's a talent. I need that. I need that. That's a real but talent. But you, can, you could just nap. Like, if you got home now, you could just nap. Oh, I just don't feel a need to nap, so I don't see it as a talent. Oh, that's an even better talent. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> do you want to know? Always awake. Do you want to know a good life hack, guys? You know those plane travel pillows? Yep. They go around your neck. They yeah. suck. They're upside down. Like everyone use. you're meant to have the, the yeah, you're meant to have the pillow part at the front so your head so can't like go down oh, too much. Makes sense. But everyone puts the pillow like around their neck backwards. Which Really? Is, yeah, it's it's okay. backwards. Are they just bad at advertising or that's just like a TikTok thing? I think thing? they're bad at advertising. Well, maybe both. Surely they should have told someone at this point. Like yeah. how have we got to this age and not known this? Because they get like $40 you? for every pillow they sell at the airport. I don't think they care how people use yeah, it. Yeah, but I'm sure if they actually worked and were comfortable, more people would buy them, right? True. Yeah, they're still not great. Yeah, <laughs> they still suck. Maybe I've they seen just another thing. It's like you put it, uh, it wraps around your head and you strap it to the seat. Then your like head a can't. turban. Yeah, 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 but it can't fall. And you got the normal pillow thing so here. And you can't fall you forward because your head's strapped to the chair. What? This sounds like <laughs> a, a, a torture method. Yeah, but it works. Isn't I there think. like a screen on the back of the seat as yeah, well? Yeah, what, what happens to the person behind you? Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> They're trying to watch out of Bridgerton and you've just wrapped a turban <laughs> around their screen. <laughs> Look, I don't know. I don't have one. I don't have one. I've never tried. You don't have what? A talent? Um, well, yeah, that too. Oh, Ooh. you can dunk though. Yeah, totally. Yeah, sick. Nah, I my peak height was like grade eleven. In, in terms height. of jump height, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was I about to say, off. surely you haven't started shrinking. <laughs> no, not yet. Yeah, maybe we should all learn how to dunk. I I couldn't just. How long would that take? Yeah, quite a while. Like I know probably you while, have yeah. a maybe fifteen, twenty. I think you'd 20... be probably closer to me because your no athletic ability. Way. No, but you could probably no jump up your way. athletic ability. More uh, quickly true. than uh, Peter's. Yeah. 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 How tall are you? Uh, six foot, like seven. <laughs> it just looks weird on the camera. Don't ask again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, weird, no, weird I'm five, five, ten. I wonder what the shortest person who can dunk is. What do we Oh, reckon? definitely lower than that. But yeah. I know. know that Muggsy Bogues was like the shortest person ever in the NBA and he won, or I don't know if he won the slam dunk contest, but he was five foot three or something. What? And he could dunk. He was crazy. Okay, That's would nuts. you rather and be. And in the, the NBA, is crazy as well. Would you rather be. Three feet tall, but you can jump to the height uh, like a seven foot person could. You can jump real fucking high, basically. Yeah, yeah. Or you are seven feet tall, but you can't oh, jump. Ve- like, like you can maybe jump ten centimeters it's off the, the ground. Easy at seven feet. Easy. It's such an easy question. You couldn't jump, Peter. Zach, I don't care. Yeah, you don't if really I'm need three to jump feet that tall, much. I am never getting laid ever Think again. Think of the flips you could do. <laughs> no. <laughs> Also, I think I made a mistake. I think Reggie Miller might be right. It's Spud Webb, not... Is it Muggsy Bogues? I'm reading Spud Webb here is 5'7". He could dunk. He's the smallest, shortest NBA player to ever dunk. All right, oh, would you I got them confused. Fi- would you Sorry. rather be 5'7", but you can dunk? Actually, that just sounds good. Apparently, the shortest just... dunker ever is 5'2". Wow. Respect. That's short. Well, that Wait, is what were you? 5'10". So he's 8 inches shorter than you. No excuses, Peter. I was not I have excuses. negative excuses. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> he's a bit rich, mate. <laughs> Yeah, it does seem so handy in volleyball when Jackson comes along and he's just like... Yeah, it's so... Volleyball's got his hands flying above the net. being tall. I think it's more mm. important than basketball. 
Dude, I get so pissed Maybe. off when I'm playing Frisbee and like there's like tall people and they're like, I guess I should play in the receiver role, which is, you know, a downfield, you know, catch a deep role. It's like, I guess I can't be a handler. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, being tall is better in every position. Oh, like, is being yeah. tall good for throwing? It just, yeah, because you can just literally throw it. Like, how is anyone's going to block your throw if your throw comes out above their reach? True. And you have I longer throw arms. Like this. You can. Oh, okay. Sure. You can high release. And then what's a short person on the mark going to do overhead. to stop your high release? Is there any sports where it's good to be short? Yeah, uh, gymnastics, yeah. wrestling. Oh, man. Kids yeah, are wrestling. fucking so good. At, I'm going to say snowboarding out of no yeah, out of would, no knowledge. I've just seen a lot of kids Oh, you can't topple over as much. Lower center of gravity. <laughs> anything with center of gravity. Yeah, actually, probably Jockey. Just, anything with uh, spinning because you the smaller you are, the faster you can spin. Yeah. So. Sorry. <laughs> Is that a sport? Yeah, diving, gymnastics. Okay. Sorry, I Tri- thought you just meant the sport was spinning. <laughs> <laughs> the sport is so IRL cool. Beyblades and you got to go in and let her rip. Bro, that'd be fucking sick. <laughs> a seven foot jockey. I might get into it. That I'm not seven terrible. foot. On a, on a Shetland pony. <laughs> the poor fucking horse. Um, um, I yeah. had a little bit this week a, for us. A comedy bit. Oh, no, right, right, no, sorry, no sorry, like sorry. a little little segment for us. Because yeah. I thought that it was really funny. I heard the best insult the other day and it was someone saying to someone, you look like you're allergic to peanuts. Mm. Ooh, Ooh. I, that hits close to home because Maddie has told me that I look like I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually kind of agree with it, which hurts all the more. So I was going to ask you guys, what is something we all have to say what each other looks like in a roast way, but it has to not be true. So you can't be like, hey, Zach, you look like you have a YouTube channel because mm. he does. That's not funny. You know what I mean? It's just true. So what's something that like, because I think these are so funny because it's just an extremely cutting assumption about someone for absolutely no reason. Okay, can I start? Look, oh. <laughs> Jackson just Jackson said, just he prepped. thought. Jordan, yep. you look like you have asthma. Oh, I did as a, a child. Fuck. I got, oh. I got over it though, so I don't anymore. Peter. Gotcha. So you're right. <laughs> you're right. You got me. You got me. All right. You like you look like the older actor that still has to kind of look like a kid in like those this is like so long. suddenly thirty <laughs> and like seventeen again the movies where like a kid will swap into an adult's body you're I the think adult. it's supposed to be like three words the insult that oh, was like sorry. forty words can you have that again I you think look I, like I, Freaky I, Friday <laughs> <laughs> gotcha <laughs> oh jeez Zach so, you look like you tried too hard to be good at golf. Oh, I learned golf a little bit as a kid. Oh, so it's a little bit. Burst. But he didn't try very hard. He didn't try too hard. No, but I am a bit of a try hard at mini golf, which is almost Ooh. worse, isn't it? Yeah, yeah definitely <laughs> worse. Not almost. <laughs> <laughs> What's the reward on try hard? Is it professional mini golf? Surely not. Surely there can't be. I reckon there is. That would be great. Some like American that might be more entertaining than actual golf. ESPN show. Yeah, professional true. mini golf. <laughs> Zach. You look like you would brag after beating a 10-year-old at pen pin bowling. Yeah. Yeah. How good is the 10-year-old? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great point. He could be a professional. I'd fucking brag. You don't know their story. Till 10-year-olds he... might be insane. That's like, have you seen the yeah, video of... Yeah, you don't of, know uh, his story. Okay, my bad, I <laughs> guess. Have you seen the video of Magnus Carlsen, who's now like the number one chess player, but when he was like 12 or 13, mm. he's like versing at the time the number one player. Whoa. And the, the guy is like thinking about his next move and Magnus is just like look he's like he's a kid he's like 11 or 12 he's just like looking off he stands up he walks around (laughs) and he's like looking at other people playing the guy who's the current world number one is just like staring at the board like getting a headache losing his shit trying to figure it out and then Magnus is like stumbling around that's great did he beat him? I think they had a it was a draw which was insane at the time yeah 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 but yeah Jackson oh yeah Martin I haven't got one yet you look like you play the trumpet do I? Is that an insult, though? <laughs> it, I mean, is having a peanut allergy really an insult? Yeah, true. yeah. It None is. Of it, it's, it's just funny because it's just it challenges your self identity, which is why it's so funny. Mm. I feel like I look more like I play the saxophone. Oh, you wish. Oh, is saxophone cooler than trumpet. <laughs> yeah, oh, is it? way cooler. Oh, shit. Hey, don't don't make me take you down to trombone. <laughs> What's trombone? Oh, I mean, I don't know what any yeah, of these I don't are. Know instruments. Am I right on this tier list? Straight one. Yeah, the big one that goes wow wow wow. Oh, it's like bah, bah, nah, nah. That's, that's trumpet. trumpet. Yeah, trumpet's the one with three buttons. Oh, and saxophone's like. Yeah, <laughs> these yeah, are some yeah, of the yeah. best descriptions I've yeah. ever heard. <laughs> and what's trombone? Womp wow. Yeah. Wow. You know the oh, one where you that slide. One. That one's sick. All right. Well, maybe you can play the trombone then. Yeah, that's cool. You are a bit of a mm. trombone player too. Yeah. Very brassy. Yeah. I feel like you look like you could be an accountant. 
That's good. Oh, it's not, that's, it's not, it's kind of just means I look like every human, like the default me. <laughs> default, <laughs> default me. That yeah. is a nah, bit of a roast. It's like specifically the moustache. Oh, is that I what think. it is? And know. the glasses probably help. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I Peter? got um, complimented oh. for my moustache recently. That's good. It's never happened before. Printed really? Again. Wow. Yeah. Someone recognised me. So I went to a cafe in the morning while I was on holidays and then later in a different suburb went to like an old sort of secondhand vintage shop and the guy was like, I saw you before. Great moustache. Oh, legend. And I, it's probably the best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know how like, it's right like, like meeting Brooke? Yeah. 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 Oh, way buff. It's yeah, like okay. guys get one compliment and think about it for the next three months. Yeah, it's yeah. like, you know, Tell like all their friends. girls getting compliments from guys every day. And then it's like, guy gets one compliment. And he's just like, based their entire identity around that. Do not ever <laughs> expect Jackson to get rid of the, this moustache now. Yeah. Someone told me that I looked good in a beanie recently. Which I already thought about myself, but then they validated it. Then I wore a, a beanie like every day for a week. <laughs> it's way more meaningful. That's why you need to not compliment anyone. What? <laughs> How is That's that? That's not the takeaway. We need to be complimenting men oh. like once a week, not once every three months. Okay, maybe we should stop complimenting women. <laughs> right? Oh. We've got to figure this out, First boys. off, it's women. Women. Woman. We should stop woman. No, no, he's a one woman kind of guy. He only compliments <laughs> yeah. one kind of girl. I'll never compliment you again, Holly, you woman. Yeah, exactly. You... Just sprinkle it in every now and then, like once a month. What's once the, a month, okay, yeah. what's the compliment limit on people that aren't your partner? Uh, you know, like if you ask someone if they got a haircut and then you don't say it looks good, you're just an asshole. <laughs> but like, like, say you're doing it to a girl that's like oh. not your partner. Or you just go, did you get a haircut? Like, oh, did you get a haircut? And then they're like, yeah. And you're like, <laughs> okay. oh, it looks great. And then they're like, you know, no, but like, you that's say obviously that. fine. But then what if you're like, like What's too obviously far if on you the say like, oh, you look really sexy yeah, today. Like, yeah, that's too far. So is Absolutely. it the line or it's the number? I'm trying to find the line. Is I think it depends on the. Type I think it's a number compliment. thing because if it's like every time you're like, "Oh, hair's looking good again," yeah, oh, there's like, a frequency ooh, thing. Yeah. yeah, there's a weird vibe about the like <laughs> creepy <laughs> incel playing the long game. It's just like right. doing a very soft compliment every time you see someone. Yeah, it's just a little bit scary at that point because it's just like, love the shoes. It's like okay, it's like love the dress. It's like okay, it's just like it's a it's a frequency it's thing. A frequen- I, think. I think Jordan Jordan's right because if it's, I don't know. It's it's something dishonest about that vibe. It depends on. I think it depends if you're being honest. Like yeah. if you mean it, then I think it's fine. But if you're just saying it to be yeah, that's true. Like a flirt, then Every, it's probably not fine. But I then you know. probably do mean it. Every yeah. five times attractive. you gotta throw in like a oh hair's looking a bit shit today. <laughs> Let's see um what's like the bad hair day? balance it out. Compliment it sandwich. <laughs> Imagine giving someone a compliment sandwich when you meet them just like out for like a drink or something. Is Jackson, Jackson, that, Jackson that bad, choose a good, good bad. Uh, no, it's good bad good. Good, good, good bad, bad good. good. You want more bad, good? Good bad is <laughs> yeah. so savage. You're just like well that's what the oh, sandwich you're a bit is. Chubby. I like your hair. Fuck that jacket sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even really notice the compliment. <laughs> Yeah, I just sort of like you heal from the first insult and then a second one comes. <laughs> it really hits you. In the face. <laughs> but then you'd leave them on and on the heel. Yeah, so you gotta. Healing. Okay, do you want to try doing one for Peter? Which one? A good a compliment one sandwich. Compliment, uh, the proper compliment sandwich. You have to give me the whole thing. Peter? So you got to think of two good things, which is tough. Okay, Peter. Head looking thing. good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, silly tracksuit pants and <laughs> nice bracelet. <laughs> How was that? That sounded the wrong way round. I just hate Jordan's compliments because you can tell he's thought about it on the spot just by staring at me for one second. You know, it's like the mean? least genuine compliments. Like if a genuine compliment is like, Jordan, sometimes I watch the streams and I really enjoy it. It's yeah. like something, oh, right. it's something that I brought from home. It's, it's not, not like just like nice bracelet. White, yeah. white shirt. Yeah, yeah. Tan pants. Oh, you know, it's point. like. I wish I could watch your streams, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, True. rip that. My bad. Um, wow. Well, Jordan, there's a lesson in complimenting. I actually had mm. this where I wanted one of Sophie's friends to like me because she didn't like me. And obviously it's Wait, better if you- why didn't she like you? Oh. Yeah, I think it's not my fault. No, Ooh, I think we need to do How did you know? It's, a, it's just too gossipy. It's basically just like a, she had gone through a breakup and then thought men were bad. Then was a, you know, you know oh. projecting that onto Sophie. Oh, 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 all uh, right. Yeah. Do you sure. get that? Like, it's not like I did anything to wrong her. Yeah, yeah. but you were- yeah, I was just sure. an, oh, like a, in a situation that she would, you know, not appreciate in yeah. her current mental state. Anyway- and so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to start complimenting her and start like being really nice. It just didn't work because they weren't genuine. Yeah. It's just not a good play. It was just like, oh, that cow looks really good. And she's just like, what's your end game, bro? I feel like asking mm. like a genuine question is better that? than a compliment. No, oh. it just didn't work. Yeah. And now we're, we're, we're like way better friends now because I started just actually being genuine. So there's a lesson for you. You could sense it with the vibes. Yeah, it's obvious. It didn't work. It's obvious when you're not being genuine with your compliments. That's hard. Humans are weird, aren't they? 
Well, it's a genuine win. Vibes. How do, we're all puzzles. overthinking it. Just be nice. Yeah. No, don't be weird. The, the real secret is, is when yeah, you think something you nice, just say it. Yeah. And like it's the at opposite that time. of the, if you yeah. don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. So if you have something nice to say, say it, say all. it at all. Yeah, we should push that. <laughs> I <laughs> actually haven't heard people say that, but that's a good point. Wasn't that kind of the It'd opposite point we were just promoting about not doing too many compliments? Well, there's a line. There's compliments and there's being weird. Right. So like, how if, do we define them? If now? you see someone, let's clarify this in the quote as well. <laughs> if you have something nice to say, say it. But here's the don't thing. be weird. What is weird? Be nice. Don't be a weird incel. Okay, what's a don't weird? Don't do it too often. What's a weird compliment? What's a nice compliment? Uh, a nice compliment. Well, give me a situ like a, a thing to compliment, and I'll do two ways of. Let's do me. Uh, <laughs> no, like a specific. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, like my a, height, my handsomeness, anything like that's good. Uh, all right, we'll go. We'll, we'll go height. Why not? Yeah. It's like. Damn, Jackson, you are so tall. It makes you really great at sports, and I can just see you're a chick maggot because of it. It's dope. Um, should we do the Patreon DMs? Yeah, let's do it. We thought we'd go through some of the Patreon DMs because we haven't really read any of them out on the podcast before, and there's Ooh. a few bangers. There Plenty might be nice. some clangers, though. So Plenty of bangers clangers. and clangers. I've tried to pick out a bit of a variety. This is for Jackson to edit out, but for our Patreons to enjoy. There is DMs, guys. Oh, sorry, I think about to say... No, just the clangers. Right, 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 right. There are, there are DMs, guys. Oh, you want me to say something that'll get me cancelled? Yeah. I will. <laughs> I know. I'll do it right now. All right, this one comes from Shoelace. They had an idea for a game. Should we try it out? Yeah. Yes. I had an idea for a game if you want one for the pod. It was inspired by Jordan's own game where he asked how many of you it would take to defeat a certain animal, but instead mm. I'm going to ask you if it would take more than one of you to do one thing or another. <laughs> Sounds fun, That's I guess. Good. Like it's, how many yeah. underdogs to take out of a light, light bulb? bulb yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, here's how it goes. Number one, would it take more of you to defeat a T-Rex or to defeat a sperm whale in an aquarium? Ooh. So wait, is the T-Rex also in the aquarium? Because <laughs> if he's swinging his tail around and sharks and shit are flying around. No, I imagine yeah. it's in their own environment, okay. basically. I think wait, the it would take whale. way more to take the sperm whale. Yeah. What? How do you even do anything to it? No. What would you do to it? I'd get a... Is it just me? Yeah. Like, nothing. No, how no. many? But you can have a hundred of Zach or whatever. Ooh. How thick is sperm whale skin? <laughs> Pretty T-Rex thick. T-Rex is so much more deadly though. Yeah, but at least, yeah, but at you, least could you could do it. some damage. If you had like a thousand of yous in a pool with a sperm whale, what could you even do to it? Yeah, I guess. Yes. We so had this, we've had this exact <laughs> conversation <laughs> about uh, great white sharks, if yeah. you guys remember. And we were like, Zach was like, yeah, I reckon like 30 of me could take on the great white. And yeah. I didn't agree. But anyway, yeah. this thing is like, a hundred times the weight of a great white. You yeah. know, it's so much bigger. It, it feels looking impenetrable. Like those fish that like just swim on the back of it. It'd be like a hundred Zacks just trying to grab on and like trying to punch it. Yeah. Like, Although if it is an aquarium, work. you might just need one of you with a sledgehammer. No, no Smash tools. Smash the glass. No See, tools. Oh. I would have just said like obviously get a harpoon. One of you with another one of you. Yeah, although if yourself. you have a gun, then you probably can like yeah. one of you. So I'll it's take kind an of RPG pointless. for the T-Rex. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll true. take a nuke. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think that I reckon like it would take a lot either way, but the sperm whale is just going to take so much more. Let's yeah. all say our number at the same time and the lowest one's going to have to do it. For which one? <laughs> for the, all right, we're all doing T-Rex. For the T-Rex? For the T-Rex. All right. Hang on. I need to try and imagine me. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. I've also never seen a T-Rex. Yep. I Neither, actually. Number. All right, ready? Th yep. Three, two, one. Four hundred. Eighty. You're in. Zach, you're doing it. 80. 80. Wow, yeah, what was your work? 150, 200, 200, 200, 200, 400. Mine yeah, I kind of realise that all saying it at the same time doesn't work great for the audience. Yeah, yeah, but otherwise it doesn't work because we need to have the so lowest. What so now you have number? to do it. I'm 150. <laughs> and 200. 400. I went pretty high. Wow. I didn't Zach's know. at 80. Yeah, I guess my uh, only way out is that the T-Rex doesn't exist. <laughs> it's been extinct for a while. So, so you need zero, really. You need one of you. To just yeah. beat the bones. And you think that less than 80 of you could take on the sperm whale? Are you still team T-Rex is <laughs> no, less? I, I went and swapped you Change team your Okay, okay. Respect. I was going to say, you are dreaming. <laughs> All right. Would it take more of you to defeat Mike Tyson or defeat a wolf? Oh, two, two of me could get Mike Tyson. I think a Mike... Well, how big is a wolf? How, wait, so more of us? Yeah, so which one... What would one? take more? What would be harder to kill? Mike Tyson. I think or Mike, Tyson. Mike Tyson would be harder. Yeah, yeah. A wolf, no you way. could just get on its neck Mike and Tyson's strangle it. Mike Tyson's smarter than a wolf and yeah, stronger. But think if you're getting attacked by like three people. Yep. 
at once from all directions. I guess I could attack a wolf like that too. I think a wolf is easy. <laughs> just give it like it's not gonna be. It's just gonna kick it in the head and oh, then yeah. strangle it. Just give it a treat, calm it down, and then <laughs> kill yeah. it. Give it a Scooby snack and you win. No calming down, Scooby Mike. Scooby snack, genius. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with. I think you can do a wolf with two people. I reckon with one if you're lucky. If you're really lucky, <laughs> but you'd have to. I I don't know. You have in to a one v one, what t- how, what's your matchup chart? How many times are you winning out of a hundred against a wolf in a one? I haven't seen how big a wolf. I reckon is. it's ninety ten in the wolf's favor. Is a wolf yeah. like sort of this tall? They're pretty big. Yeah, I reckon fifty fifty. Oh, no. wow. wow, you're dreaming. You get a good kick in. All right, yeah. so that that relies jump on, on yeah. his back. Do some jujitsu. Is it? What's the heads or tails <laughs> for the you versus wolf fight? Yeah. Like, what's the situation you I'm win heads. and what's the situation that he wins? Oh, wait, what? The kick lands, I think, yeah. is basically. Jordan's it. first swing, you know, the that's kick all it's. land, yeah. Uh, the average male bolt is 30 to 80 kilos. 80 and the kilos? 30 to 80. And the, the female is 23 to 55. So I think it very much depends on the size of the wolf. Yeah, here. that's such a variety. Okay. If it's a 30, then I reckon one. Yeah. If it's, if it's 80, 80 kill, I'm wolf. fucked. Yeah, you know, yeah, 85 people. 80 kills me. Jeez, nah, that's a good question. You just need two. Good question. Uh, but Mike Tyson probably has the weight advantage, the strength advantage, and the smart advantage. Yeah. I think he's going to be much harder to take down the wolf. Wolves just have the knives built into their face yeah. advantage. Mike Tyson's you a bit probably s- one hitting all of us. Yeah. yeah. Like, just... Like, I mean, all of the use, you know? But you can just go for the nuts <laughs> on Mike Tyson. Oh, I don't know you're going to get to his nuts, man. Way True. You, you could get to the nuts on the wolf, though. Oh, Does that it debilitate animals like it does us? Any sure, animals in the chat? So. What, are the <laughs> <laughs> what are the ducks think? I think you just give the wolf your leg and then, like, poke its eyes out or something. Oh, you just go, come here, come here, and then it gets on, then you and just then crack it. Yeah, take him down. Yeah, let it hump your leg. Yeah, or if there's two of you, one of you cops it, the other one jumps on the back, takes it All out. All right, let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> Would it take more of you to start a channel as successful as Mr. Beast in a year or for at least one of you to make it to the top of our Mount Everest without climbing gear? Without climbing gear? You're probably not you, naked. No, that's not going to happen. So we should we just say... How does more of you help no, that? No, I think... <laughs> how, how if there's like... No, if there's like 30, you can sleep in like a contained unit. Or oh, the outside ones you die. die off as you climb like the hill. Ants, t- you guys are you not, eat each other. You guys aren't thinking high enough people because to be as popular as Mr. Beast in a year, you would need thousands. I don't think I could do it with a million people. I, I just A million use? Yeah. No, but then think if they're expendable, we start getting into like like... Sending thirty versions of me on a roller coaster with no end. Also, you can sit there yeah, like, <laughs> like the fact that people are dying yeah. is your edge over Mr. Beast. Also, I'm like sacrificing clones is my bit. I think yeah, just having a same. clone could get you up there. Me and my clone. True. Yeah, twin content goes hard. <laughs> it's like me and my 999 clones get the same McDonald's order. Oh, Mr. Like Beast had a clone. A mate. deafening, deafening sound of Da Vinci with like <laughs> hundreds of me. <laughs> Is that the two guys? That yeah, the, the same Boris twins. They look like paintbrushes. They're so funny. They're yeah. great. They're probably some of the best self-aware, stupid like viners. Great. Are they you, self-aware? Oh, Definitely. yeah. You should watch their newer great. stuff. It's so funny. Yeah. That's and great. Then, like, the they always use the like. Well, they use the, the stupidest stupid sound effects and. Do you reckon and they're like the most great. successful people who've just been a meme and they've just kept it going? They've lent into their bit and they seem to still enjoy it. I love it. You know it's what I mean? Like Charlie point. bit his finger. That happened and he probably fell off. Rebecca Black. Yeah, I don't she did well. About her too much though. She's doing well now as well. But yeah, she's not just she's... doing a meme bit. Like the Da Vinci people are yeah. still just saying Da Vinci. <laughs> they do other bits though. They just do general comedy videos that are pretty funny. Uh, yeah, true. the videos are funny outside of like anything yeah, related yeah. to the meme. It's that's just true. funny content. That's so, true. what do you think, Zach? You want more more people to clown, uh, climb climb Mount Everest, or to I think I could Mr. climb Mount Beast Everest to... with less. How many people do you reckon you need to climb Mount Everest? Oh, probably like a thousand. I'm thinking of it like a ch- like a statistics with no like climbing one of us, gear. One of us will make it. Yeah, it's pretty hard. I think it'd be well, like then, one in like fifty thousand if you didn't train. But then the train would train, right? I think it'd just be impossible. Just oxygen, you just cop it and die. No, but people, oh, no climbing gear at all. Yeah. I was thinking like, is there parts that are gear? just um? Surely you get scalable. to wear like warm you need, clothes. You need stuff. I think you get to wear warm clothes. I'll give you that. Oh, nice. so you can't be naked. Yeah, that'd be pretty yeah, cool. Like, you know, you know, like ice clothes. picks and stuff to like climb up the really steep parts? No, I think you have to just boost each other up. I don't think it's <laughs> happening. Yeah, I'm going to say the Mr. <laughs> Beast thing. So you I would just build a stack of a thousand Zacks. You just Zack ladder. 
What if the pile of dead Zacks is so tall it's as tall as Mount Everest and then you just step onto the peak? Yeah, That's how, what I'm thinking. How tall is... <laughs> that doesn't help. <laughs> how tall much. is Mount Everest? Uh, it's like nine kilometers so tall. So you need 9,000 Zacks oh, just laying down on one another. Oh, Better idea. I don't know, actually. Maybe Do you it is. think if you had enough people, you could sort of bionicle combine into like a helicopter? <laughs> nope. Sorry, just double checking my number <laughs> here. <laughs> it's all right, Peter's double checking something. So. 8.85, and I said no. pretty good. Yeah, you're right. This is the Damn. closest I've been to factual on the podcast. Wait, what is. <laughs> what's the fact? You need a ding when you get it's a stat. 8.85 kilometers I reckon tall. Peter gets to pop the pirate for that. Yeah, go on. <laughs> <laughs> Correct fact. All right, so the Super Mario is being popped. We have no idea if it's set up correctly. We're about to find out. Nah. Ooh, no, pop no it's said correctly. It just didn't, didn't pop. Okay. Well um, so you, I think you can do the Mr. Beast thing with less. Me too, definitely. I reckon you could do it with like 10 of you. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, there's 10 of me. Look. No, it's 10. You know, he's already got thousands of employees and he's him. So yeah, you need yeah, to beat that. Be in a year. And he's been doing it for like 10 years. Year. Yeah. He is him. I ha- just genuinely don't think it's possible to grow a YouTube channel that big. So I'm you think you can do Mount Everest easier? Yeah. I think it's the, I think it's Mr. Beast. How many subscribers? No, I just think there's like there's a cap to how many people can discover a channel. Mm. But there's like, you know, like I think even if you had ten billion people, no, but that's ten like, billion views. That's oh, done. Well, do oh I, yeah. What if you just get enough people to subscribe? Oh, so I can just get people to view bot and sub. Yeah. No, you just use your clones to view. Yeah. Well, that's. Stupid. Or you can get them like <laughs> one thousand of them just making a billion shorts. You know what I mean? Like just get them pumping out content, making anything. So you're saying we just get all of Australia, make it mandatory at dinner time. You have to turn on the Underdogs Pod. Yeah. When billionaires. <laughs> yeah, let's just do that. Let's just make it mandatory to listen to, to the no, Underdogs Pod. No, but I reckon podcast. in China they might get that going. A bit of North Korea. Oh, How do you think T series got so big? Kim, yeah, true. true. That's true. India, right? Yeah. Huh? yeah. You know, yeah. some of the like two of the top ten channels are just India only. Do you uh, know, I was looking at the most viewed videos on YouTube ever because uh, I saw something pop up about Shark, Psy do, 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 do. and I was like, oh, was like I was like, man, I remember when Gangnam Style was number one. That was the best time. Dude, we've entered the bad timeline. It is it is Baby Shark and it's not even close. Baby and Shark's I'm like, great. Wow. I love Baby Shark. It's Baby Shark on 13 billion. Despacito's up there. Yeah, Despacito it? number two with 8 billion. Baby Shark destroys it. Has, how so is catchy. Despacito number two? To, that one's fallen off. I mean, I think that they definitely... I mean, there's a lot of uh, Spanish-speaking people in the world, yep. which definitely yeah, helps. Yeah, but like, don't you think it's fallen off a lot? For, it used to be huge here too. It's not just... The fact that it Spanish. even got to being huge here is a massive compliment to it. Because, you know, I, I was thinking about, um, you know, Bad Bunny? Yeah, he's like the biggest He's singer. massive, but he's like nothing in Australia, you know what I mean? I've like never he's, heard of him. Exactly. And, like, people from America think that's crazy because he sings in Spanish. Right. Uh, he's like a rapper. He's really good. Yeah. But he's just, like, not... Th- we don't speak very much Spanish here. Yeah, a lot of the biggest Twitch people are Spanish as well. Did you see they've been doing, like, a yeah. Roblox FIFA thing on Twitch, which what? has been getting, like... <laughs> I don't know, but like in like it's the Spanish top. Like you know how I don't know if you've seen it, but a lot of the top English Twitch people were doing like chess and stuff. No, sorry. Ah, well, anyway, they or like the Sidemen had like a massive soccer match that got like two million views. I did see that. Is that where the Una Reverse thing came out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw that. And then I'm pretty sure this Roblox Spanish thing is like pretty close to as big. Yeah, right. Well, yeah. That's crazy. There's like that many Spanish people on Twitch and stuff. Yeah, it makes you realize that you're like your whole little slice of the world is very small in comparison to everyone else's. Because what uh, Reggie Miller's underrated saying in the chat, I wish a- AFL was more popular worldwide, Australian Football League. Yeah. Jackson loves it. I was watching some highlights of AFL on YouTube that day because it was funny. And I was just thinking, I'm like, this sport is fucking crazy. Yeah. Such a like, good sport. If I'd never seen this sport before, like I've never seen, you know, like we see other sports and we're like, this is weird. Yeah. If I saw this, I'd be like, what? Yeah. D- d- speckies yeah, yeah, are yeah. the stupidest thing in any Such sport. A good rule. Maybe ever. Like, yep. it's like no head high contact allowed. You know, yep. that's fairly standard. Makes sense. But no if you want, <laughs> yeah, no pushing in the back. But if you want, you can jump, knee someone in the back of the head. Yeah, use your opponent's a ladder. Put your knees on their shoulders and try to catch a tie yeah. and then come crash into the ground. Yeah. We love that. Yeah. It's like, oh, don't, don't slap him in the head, but knees, knees, feet, and then land on them on in the landing. Awesome. Yeah, they should crazy. add one of them to every sport. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> like, okay, let's, let's think soccer. Handball, obviously, it's football. Like, yep. You can't handball. But what's like the one situation where a handball would be fucking sick? You know, like a, the bicycle kick equivalent, but they just like 
punt it. Like they just punch, <laughs> you have to the, punch ball. the ball. Yeah. yeah you, if you do a backflip, you're allowed to punch the ball. Into <laughs> yeah, the goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That like, is what Spanky's is because the thing is, it's a f- it, like like they're saying, if you miss the ball, it's a free kick. Yeah. Because you've just kicked someone in the head for no reason. Yeah. yeah. But it's just like, what does that matter? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, so if if it goes in, it counts. If yeah, it, yeah, for yeah. Like, it uh, might be the best exception to a rule in any sport. What about volleyball? You can do a bicycle kick as long as it lands. You know, like <laughs> if it if it comes out on a downward angle, yeah. it's allowed. That's great. Yeah. Or you can hit it under the net if you just use your middle finger. <laughs> 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 you have to like poke it through. What about oh. tennis? This, this is good. Let's think of some more. It's a bit risky though. Yeah. Tennis, yeah. Like, you can go onto the other side of the net and block their shot, but only with your head. Yeah, that's great. Or <laughs> teeth or something. Yeah. Nose. You're just running in front of them with just with your face trying to get in the way. <laughs> and you just see that as like the Hail Mary play to win yeah, the Wimbledon. And if, it hits you, if they hit you in the body, you're out. You're out. So you're just like... <laughs> <laughs> and they're trying to smack it into you and you're trying to get your head in the way. Oh, that's so... Yeah, I reckon fun. AFL could take off though. I reckon they need to do some it more got, advertising. Um, heaps more popular than COVID because it was like the only world sport going Ooh. because every other sport shut down because of COVID. But Australia had the, the hub. I don't know if you guys remember all this. No, not really. They moved that every team to UFC one as well, place. Though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. So it got a bit more popular in that way, but still got a long way to go. Yeah, the fake crowds was always an interesting one, wasn't yeah, yeah, it? Yeah, crowd fake noise. crowd noise. <laughs> so strange. And people would pay to have their um, picture up in the crowd. Yeah, in the oh, stand. Really? But that happened in a lot of sports. That's good. Oh, wow. So good you, way to make money. A way to keep the game going. Yeah. That's cool. There was some really funny, like people would submit some like photos of like Hitler and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> that never got through, but there was some controversial people that obviously they're not going to vet every single photo. Yeah. So good stuff. Wow. Yeah, they probably picked up on Hitler. <laughs> yeah, I've seen this guy before. And it's like <laughs> Hang Hitler's on. son. Yeah, put him through. Did he have a son? Oh, who knows? Did well, he? I guess people know. <laughs> that just Who knows? knows? Historians, <laughs> Who knows? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Only God knows. Jacob yeah. in the chat will know. He's a historian. <laughs> All right, should we get the next one? Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, can we... Are on. there any other sports that we could improve? Oh, go on. What sports? Like that. Well, we haven't done... What about basketball? What's illegal in basketball, Jordan? Just running with the ball. Yeah, I was going to say, what <laughs> if you can double dribble as long as you dunk at the end? And if with you don't feet. dunk, then <laughs> it doesn't count. You dunk with your feet or no, something. No, if you don't dunk, then it like goes all the way back. They just get to put it in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like you can run goal. with the ball and go for a dunk, but then they're allowed to legally like tackle you. Or oh, actually, no. there's this cra- in Russia, what they do, they play basketball, but it's pretty much like basketball slash wrestling. It's what uh, <laughs> Khabib plays and like a lot of the Russian guys like play the, who are like UFC fighters. It's literally just basketball, but they don't need to dribble and they can wrestle each other. And it's, so, so, it's so fucked. Is it played so on a soft stop court? Pe- no. You just what? stop people by wrestling them. Yeah, they just run and like, <laughs> like someone has a basketball. Someone has the ball and like and yeah, running at you. So, so it's a defender's coming in to defend them, but then your teammate comes in and tackles them and starts <laughs> like you can just strangle yeah, so it's them. Basically, rugby except you score by putting it in the hoop. Yeah, pretty much. On, and played on like con- not concrete what on basketball it? court. That's and stuff. I guess that yeah. there's no like stoppage thing. I, well, I don't even know how it happens. I don't know though. Because then you know rugby you have the other number of yeah. How does that you know, work? You just turn plays. it over if you get tackled. No, they just they just keep playing. I don't know. It's like no, but if you no get, you're holding the ball and you get tackled and you're on the floor and like someone else it. will grab the ball. They can still, still hold you. Oh, down. you don't want to hold the ball, otherwise you're just gonna get <laughs> kicked in the face. I don't understand. It's UFC. Rules. It's pretty much just we're wrestling, but there's also the game you win by getting it in the basketball hoop. <laughs> this is the best suggestion in the chat. <laughs> What's that? Wrestling, but you're allowed to kiss your opponent, but if it's not on the lips, you lose. <laughs> so they're trying to like put their cheek in the yeah. way or their neck. You cop it on the cheek and it's just like done. <laughs> you hold them down for the count and give them a hickey. <laughs> what would be the umpire signal for an illegal kiss? I don't even know. It's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Describe that, Jordan. Uh, you put your fingers in an X shape in front Cross of your, your lips. lips. I love That's funny, a good symbol. funny umpire signals are always really good in sports. Yeah. Mm. The one for being ejected in basketball. Oh, they just like, I, I don't know exactly what it is, but they kind of end up by just being like, it's like, out. Yeah. And the, the, oh, no, that's a charge. A charge. Charge is just like... The like, basketball so... The umpires are so performative compared to other sports. Dude, oh, you know, are they? Have you seen um the people who, in baseball, the out and the safe? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. The, the base umpire and they're just like, you're out of yeah. here. Yeah. Like, that looks like so much well, fun. The safe, they're like... Whoosh. Yeah, that looks like, like a good time. Yeah, actually, that's probably the most performative. Because they're just standing mm. and looking at the base to see whose foot touches first and yeah. they just do some giant gesticulation. 
they got a backwards hat on there, like doing all this weird shit. <laughs> but it makes so perfect good. sense though, because you're in a giant stadium, and if there's yeah, if it's a time to. before cameras, then the people at the back want to know. So it makes sense. You're out of here. What about just chasey base tag baseball? Like go on. to catch the person, <laughs> you, you still need to go around the bases. Yeah. But then to get out, yep. you need to get tagged. What so about like the whole enemy team <laughs> has the ball? Whoever has the ball has to tag you. What so about if you hit isn't it? that what happens? <laughs> no, but you can throw it to the base. And oh, get them out. so it just adds an extra step. So that's you gone. Have to be, you can't do that anymore. You have well, to. Well, you don't them. need to run to the bases. If you hit like a home run, you could just run into the parking lot as long as you eventually make it back. I, I think you probably can do that, right? To like avoid people. Well, yeah. You have to run along the you line. You have to run along the line, I think. In a home run? Yeah. You have uh, to run along the line no matter like what. Isn't a home run, isn't just automatically home run? Well, you still have to run the bases. They're not going to like right. penalize you. I don't I know the game very yeah, well. I don't but know either. Oh, yeah. Dodgeball, but with every type of sports ball. <laughs> Bowling oh, ball. Yeah, that's what I was <laughs> thinking of I think we're just well. getting into bad, bad sports. <laughs> okay, what about what? baseball? But if you hit it with the bottom of your... Like the bat. bat. So if you spin the bat around and hit with the bottom, yeah. you're then, you don't have to follow the lines anymore. Yeah. Ooh. But you just have to touch the bases. Oh, I think you can do this. You have to follow the line. I don't think that's true. You do. Oh, what a, I'm <laughs> not sure. There's like a, a margin of error. Like you can like jump over someone trying to tag you if you're trying to be flashy yeah. or something. But you have to follow the line. I don't know if that's true. You can't true. just go and play British Bulldogs and start zigzagging no, your just, way past the They kind of can because they just the tag you out. Well, they could just or get it to the base, the base that you're about no, to but go like, to. You it's can, unoptimal. No, but like they, if you don't have to run, they can't just throw it to the base because then you can go back. Oh. You can't go back. Yes, you can. Yeah, you can. Oh, you're the on other the first players. run, you can't, oh, but right. uh, on the next bases, you can. Americans Perhaps. are in shambles while we try to figure out baseball. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how good is cricket? <laughs> what about on talking. your third strike? If you're really upset, you can have another one. <laughs> That's good. So, so how, how, who start that crying? As well? Like, oh, uh, yeah, tear was, factor. Yeah, like I had my fingers crossed type rule. Yeah. But then they set you up to a lie detector and they ask how upset you really were. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, what's the next one? Yeah. What's the next one? Um, <laughs> Sorry, that was fun. Surely the better you are, the less strikes you should get. Rubber banding. Mm. If I go play in Major League, I get like... 40 strikes. I feel like this is... <laughs> and everyone we, loves to watch are there it. there any rubber banding aspects in actual sport? Are there? Yeah. Hmm. True. Rubber banding so. would it's be quite hype. uncompetitive, isn't it? I suppose like yeah, kind of in rules. tactics, but not in rules, I don't not think. Not in rules, yeah. Isn't, no, isn't that literally like the definition of competitive? Well, it's uncompetitive because competitive is based on skill. You know, it's like you should, the better person should yeah, win. Yeah, that's what he's yeah. saying. It's so uncompetitive like, to have rubber banding, yeah, is yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. Yeah. To have it, sorry. Bloody smash. Bros. I think why do we play? We it? should um <laughs> we should make a TikTok after this about talking about AFL and then we can put a clip of Dust Becky. That's good. And then Ooh. we can talk about other sports that need need yeah. a stupid rule. I so like that. We'll rec- after this one, we Should we, we do it now? No, we'll do it after. All right. Would it take more of you to make a tower as tall as the Empire State Building or to exterminate Australia's entire box fish jelly popula- box jellyfish population? I could build a tower. Yeah, well, you you need a very like exact number of people for well, that. They don't really say what the tower has to be made out of, do they? No. Oh, I was picturing it made out of us. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we could build it out of straw, like paper mache. Yeah. Okay. Might just be quicker to build it out of us, though. Let's do time for this one. Which one would be easier? It, building the building. The building. How are you going to find every jellyfish? Yeah, but the last the last, the last jellyfish, jellyfish. He's going to be trying out. Yeah. He doesn't want his like and species see-through. to go extinct. Yeah. How do you see them? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay, that was kind of. And we're not really at home in the ocean. From shoelace. Wow, Thank you, shoelace. A lot of content. Guys, you have to willing to try this. And if you read this message, love the pod. Have a good day. This one's from Gregory Moore. I was watching episode sixty-three, and you you were talking about what Peter and Zach's bandsless duo name would be, and I think I've got it: plant and zombie. <laughs> Why? Or pizzazz. <laughs> it's because P and Z. Or pizzazz. That's oh, so good. I'm plant. Yeah, and you're I'm plant. zombie. So we were thinking we might get you guys to do a song. <laughs> yeah, as Plant and Zombie. Plant and Zombie. Are we a hip hop duo or are we? Isn't that a game? Plant oh, that's and Zombies. That's where they got this from. Plants uh. and Zombies. So, aside from being blatant copyright infringement, yeah, I have no real affiliation with plants. Well, they're okay. You like plants? You, you like plants probably... more than zombies? I would imagine. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, who doesn't? People that like zombies. Some people people like really... people that like zombies are just weird people. I like zombies. Oh. Oh, like, <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, mean like checks zombie out TV there. shows. No, like people are just really into the concept of zombies. Yeah, I love zombies. That's a bit whack. Do you it's really? Whack. I used to. Yeah, mm. Left 4 Dead. I What's think. that like? Call of Duty zombies. What's yeah, I don't really like Call of Duty zombies. What zombies? 
No, but those games you try to kill them, Jordan. I don't know what it is. Oh yeah, no. So oh, like not I wouldn't like want to be friends with them, but I like, like the, the concept. concept. Yeah, I don't I want to be was... friends with the plant, but I like the concept. I thought it was cool. So. Oh, like I like aliens. I like the concept yeah, of aliens, yeah, yeah. but I'm not besties with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Let me cook. So Brandon zombie. So um, what what are we um? What's the song? Like you, play Jordan, we need a, we need a beat. Jordan, a beat. this is their first hit single called. Um, <laughs> Uh, is Jordan the beast? This is, I'm so fucking concerned for this. I have just no Do you want to go no first plans. or second plan? Definitely second. Okay. The new hit single called Carnivorous Cow. No, I'm I'm being a zombie. Zombie no, cow. No, I'm not doing this carnivorous cow bullshit. Zombie. Yeah, why cow? I don't know. That's you out. put me on the spot, man. I'm How not, about like a, a, a zombified Venus flytrap and it's like trying to eat you? That's the song. Name? That's a long name. Okay. Zombified Venus. No, I, just, I was just going to rap about being a zombie. That's all right. Easy. Uh, and this, you can rap about being. A we plant. are plant and zombie. Yeah, is the name yeah. of the song. It's, it's our first debut. debut. What the fuck is this? This is when you ask your white friend to drop you a beat. That was the shitty intro. Zombie on the track with a good beat now. <laughs> Have you ever heard a song before? <laughs> uh, <laughs> the name's Zombie and I'm eating some brains. brains. Went to work on the train. train. People try to shoot me, but I'm dead. Oh, oh. No. Never going to get me out of bed because I'm a sleep. zombie mm. and my mummy has died. Oh, no. Uh. <laughs> 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 it almost <laughs> like an Indian banger. <laughs> um, hey, no. I'm a plant. Ooh, plant. Mm. Watching the sun, I use my chloroplast. Ooh. Gonna put you on blast. Mm. Mm. Dropping bars while I... What's the word? <laughs> what's, what's the thing <laughs> they do? Photosynthesize. Photosynthesize. I got my synthesizers in the side, baby! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I blame Jackson for <laughs> This is the shittest beat. That was what a the sick fuck beat. is that? that Ruined the <laughs> It's in your head. It's catchy. It's catchy. You could have done eighty percent less beat, and it would have been better. <laughs> you could have just gone. No, no, no. Yeah, that would have been much that. better. That's not going to stick in my head. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, please. <laughs> the plant and the zombie. So yeah, guys, leave a like if you want to see plant and zombie uh, mixtape, or if you want me to do more beats. <laughs> Just no, you're you're in the mixtape. You're on the beats. It's okay. true because it's Petey Petey Piranha, and I guess I'm a zombie. Plant. Zachy zombie. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead inside. Almost solved it. Zombie. <laughs> What's that song? Now, that's zombie. a good bar. I'm dead zombie. on the inside and outside. Zombie. Yeah. Oh. You can try and bury me, but what's in your head? What you want me to finish your lyric? Yeah, <laughs> um, Jordan, shut the fuck up, zombie. Yeah, Ash was asking. It's about Ireland. Dead on the outside, you can bury me, but you can't bury this fire. <laughs> kind of rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, Gregory Moore asked another question, or question, or sort of statement. Also, you can make a parody of Bad Romance called Bad Romance. As in ants. Romance. Romance. <laughs> Where it is either Jordan... How often do, how, do you how think, often do you think rom- about Rome? <laughs> For Jordan, it's how often do you think about ants? Rome ants. <laughs> Rome ants. Okay, it is either Jordan preaching the ant religion or Jordan's relationship with an ant. Son by Jordan. Or his AI voice. All right, let's Jordan. hear it. Or his AI voice. No, 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 what am I? What is it? Uh, uh, bad romance. So you can either sing about Roman ants or your yeah. romance with an ant. Okay. Or preaching about the ant religion. Oh, yeah, yeah. Any yeah. one of those things. Whatever takes your fancy. And Peter, this is his first hit signal called what? Um, I fucked an ant and I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, so many legs. (laughs) (laughs) I want to have sex with this ant. (laughs) Trying to convince it to have sex. (laughs) Trying not to go on a rant. Me and hey, Ant are going hey, back to my hey, place. Hey, I wonder if hey, I'm gonna hey, come on its hey. face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. What the fuck is that? <laughs> You can't just come on its face. You're drowning it. <laughs> Bro, that's new meaning to ants in the pants. 
That's another one of your songs for sure, right? <laughs> Amps in my pants. Oh, God. Bad Rome oh, ads. Oh, no. That was amazing. Yeah, well. So if you want to just... I feel like the beat made it a bit easier. <laughs> nah. Jackson. It did. It slowed it down a bit. Disagree. Um, <laughs> if you want to send us some DMs, we'll kind of... We might do that more often. That was pretty fun. Yeah. Put can, them aside. Can we, can we talk mm. about the trend of people asking how often How often do you guys think about the Roman Empire? We have already we talked about that last week. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. yeah. We can do it again if you want. No, <laughs> no, right. Run back the greatest hits. <laughs> No, that must be where I learned about it. Yeah, yeah, it would have. Yeah, just repeating it. That's what funny. about the Rome and Empire? As we've spoken about before, I get very motion sick yeah. all the time. It's crazy you went yeah, on the Not sure why I was when I was a child. My parents were like, "Here's motion sick tablets." Never came up, so I was like, "Let's try it." I'm going to have some motion sick tablets and we're going to go on rides. What? And we're going to see what so happens. So it was just like actually an experiment. That's a great adventure. No, I love this go, for you. Holly wanted to go to the show anyway. Yeah, but did you, would you have wanted to go on the rides? No, surely not. Does Holly I've like I've never rides? been on a, Holly likes rides. Okay. But I've never been on a ride. Yeah. Other than when I was like a little kid because it just makes me so sick. So for you, it was like, you, you don't mind the thought of going on the rides. It's just the sickness that is like... So it was a good experiment. Exactly. So yeah. then we were like worked our way up. We were like the first. I like had two tablets, <laughs> and we went on like the 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 swings that go around. Yeah, they were fun. And then uh, it was it was fine. Yeah. It was like it was crazy for motion sickness Ex as well. It was crazy. It was completely yeah. fine. So then we stepped up. We went on like a roller coaster, like span around and shit. That was also fine. Oh. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was a bit scary though. Bit of adrenaline. That's kind of the bit point. Of, yeah, but it was like, man, people are brave. Because then the grand finale was, it was like the biggest thing there. It was called like the extreme it's speed. The Is it the up. giant thing that's like two arms on yeah. a big thing it that was spins? That. Yeah, and yeah, we yeah, saw yeah. that and Holly's like, you, you want to go on that then? And I was scared because I'm like, I haven't been Dude, on that the that one is legitimately very scary yeah, looking. Yeah, I don't go on that and I like lots and lots of rides. Yeah. But that one I'm always like, mm, it's going to be too scary. For, yeah, so I, I was like, shit, man. I guess we gotta do it. We gotta try. But I was I was shitting myself. I'm proud of you. Yeah. Yeah. Road, you know? It's like it's like to explain it to the to the people watching. It's like a giant arm that how high it's pretty it was like the tallest thing there. The it's arms like, are probably like what, twenty meters long each and there's two of them. Yeah. So you go in a giant circle, it's like you're probably got a forty, 40 meter. meters yeah, in the peak air. of forty meters. And then it flings around and the chairs like spin upside down as well. It's fucking wow. terrifying. Yeah. yeah. Don't you reckon? I hope we've got good engineers on this stuff because you must do because you'd have to, right? They you wouldn't would let you do it if it wasn't like very safe. If it ever broke once, you would hear. I about saw a it. video. Oh, well, no, so I was about to say oh. one of them broke in America like the other day. I they saw a video off. of an Indian one breaking of yeah. like one of these like drop ones and just getting dropped. It was cursed. So oh. they all die. You would imagine. The, the video cuts off before you get to the ambulances rocking oh, I up. I thought you know? might have like, the comments. Like, no, oh, I this one was the on this spinning one and it stops halfway. The chair just flies off. But the other off. thing is, no. how certain are you that it's not fake? Oh, this was very real okay. looking. Like, you know when there's like a live leak watermark in the corner and then you Ooh. see like... Oh, yeah, it's, yeah. It's pretty obvious when it's real. When not going to go on so one anymore. Glad raw. I got my one in. That's when they feel I've, so real. I've seen enough fake shit to know most of the time yeah, when it's fake. the fake police. I'm very good at discerning fake stuff. Yeah. Um... That's great. So how did you shoot yourself? It was just terrifying. It's like, oh, I, so there was I had never experienced like G-force like that. And it's like, you spin around, you're flipping <laughs> around and it's like so fast. And then it like, it's, they kind of stop it and you're at the top and then they put, they, you kind of get two goes in a row. Mm. So the inertia just slid out. And it kind of like, it stops at the top. <laughs> and then the next one, we were going backwards at first. The next one, it's like flinging you as fast as it goes, like head first towards the ground. And then you're like, Whoosh. and I was like, oh man, I didn't realize how brave people were. Yeah, I remember I, the worst roller coaster I've done was apparently the biggest one in uh, Universal Studios in Japan. Yeah, it was pretty like scary, and oh, I was terrified. We are we are literally going there. Yeah, in January, and I'm gonna make Jordan go on it. Oh, perfect! Wow, I, well, I love roller coasters, and I've now that it. you Ooh. and now that you are keen. Actually, like, is Holly really big on the roller coasters? Yeah, well, she was like, she was far less scared than me to go on the uh, extreme speed. I was like okay. shitting myself. You don't have to go on this one in Universal Studios. I'll give it. Because I'll go I'll with Holly if not. But I'll I don't know, Maddie. I d oh, Zach yeah. acted so tough. Luna Park. I was the only one that went on the upside down, the biggest one at Luna Park. Remember? Oh yeah, no, I, don't, I like roller coasters. The other ones, oh. I'm like, I'm like fifty fifty. Like, uh, if I okay. Can be, because I'm, I'm Cause way more that scared one was of the other fucked. Ones. That one was yeah. ridiculously fucked, that one at Luna Park. I can't it's do like it. like a big claw. I can't do it. Yeah, right. But, but yeah, yeah this was terrifying. 
Sorry, yeah, what were you saying? Uh, it's not a bit shitting pants or something. I was just going to say, if Maddie doesn't want to go on this big roller coaster. Is she not as much of a fan? Uh, she, like, she gets really scared and, like, doesn't like them, but she likes pushing herself. Mm. So, like, when we went to Adventure World, she went on, like, the one there, which is a pretty scary roller coaster. And then you got it a goes, giant like, thing, like... Yeah. Where she passed out or something? Yeah, like a canyon swing. Yeah, you went on the canyon swing. That's fucking and crazy. And we went on this huge zip line over, like, a 400-meter drop in... um. Whoa. In Turkey, which was pretty sick. It's like the longest zip line in Europe. That's cool. Yeah, that was really fun. But like, she'll, she'll do stuff like that, but then like she gets really scared by it. It's so funny. I because don't think she's going on commitment. this roller coaster though that Jackson says. Is, I, uh, I always I always thought uh, that like scary movies were so stupid. I was like, why do you want to be scared? And then Jackson on the pod, you were like, well, it's like going on rides, isn't it? And I was just like, Oh, <laughs> I literally never thought about it that way. Yeah. And I'm like, I do all these adrenaline junkie type things that I love. Yeah. But then I hate scary movies. I'd rather do like a bungee jump than watch a scary movie. Yeah. You know, it's just like, but yeah, do you wow. Get, do you get too like scared when you do like the adrenaline things? No. Yeah. So it's, you're not getting the scariness. You're just getting the thrill. Oh, I get pretty scared of right. some of them. That's got to be part of it though. Yeah. That's what gives you the adrenaline boost. Yeah, is yeah, being yeah. scared. You know? If Otherwise you're not scared, it, then you don't get the adrenaline. Yeah, I would right. You just get Ooh. desensitized and then you start just doing nuts things. Yeah. Not oh, it's any just reward. fun to go that fast. You go like, woo. <laughs> All right. Should we look at the next DM? <laughs> that was kind of be. Oh, really. I've got, I've got a, I've got a, a little thing. 